What is going on everybody? It's your man Mrs. Z. I'm really excited because I'm about to do my very first library movie run. Now, really quickly before I get started, I gotta tell you guys, I don't know if any of you guys used to rent movies from the library. I used to do it on occasion when I was younger, but I went in there just recently just out of pure curiosity to see what the movie selection was like at my local library. And I'm gonna tell you guys, if you guys are ever having a day where you know you're just bored or you're not doing much, seriously, go check out your local library's movie selection. I respect libraries a lot for being able to provide such a wide, expansive variety of movies, especially to you know underprivileged families, because these are free. Now, you don't have to pay a dime for anything that you get out of the library unless you're buying something. But if you're you're like renting these movies, that's a great way for for someone to, you know, save a buck, because strange enough, my library has some pretty recent movies. When I went in there to rent these movies I'm about to show you, I did see Fast and Furious 6, I saw um, uh, Divergent, I'm like, I was surprised that they had legitimately new movies. But I got a couple movies I'm going to return both at Redbox and the library, but I'm going to get started with the library one first. Um, I'm going to be returning Star Trek Insurrection. Now, it is in my best interest to try and um, get through all the Star Trek movies because I've been really kind of off and watching them, um, I guess, in order because I've always jumped around. Like, the very first Star Trek movie I ever saw was First Contact. Then I moved on to the J.J. Abrams ones. Then from there, I watched Star Trek Nemesis. But you know, then I decided to watch Star Trek Insurrection because I want to try and get through all of uh, the next generation Star Trek uh, films because I love the Star Trek The Next Generation. Overall, quick opinions on this movie. It's not bad. It's it's enjoyable. Like, there are many aspects of this film that I love. Like, for example, I'm not going to go into an in-depth review, but Star Trek movies, especially The Next Generation in general, not just the movies but the show as well, they never let down in the story department. The story is always really nice, hard sci-fi story in these Star Trek films. The one thing that this movie kind of flaws at is that I understand Star Trek's not an action-based franchise, but if you want to do action scenes, at least nail them down right. And the action scenes in this movie are kind of mediocre. I mean, Star Trek Nemesis Nemesis's or Nemesis, I don't know. Star Trek Nemesis action scenes are fantastic. So so that's that. If I were to give this a number rating, I'd probably give this a, I think I did give it a 6 out of 10. I do have a notebook that I keep note of all the movies that I watch. Um, I definitely say check it out. It's a great story. Action scenes are a bit mediocre. And then it kind of gets goofy at the end. But uh, it's, it's, it's a great movie to blend in with the rest of the Star Trek movies. The next movie that I'm going to return, which is at Redbox, um, is actually Project Almanac. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, it was that time travel movie that was supposed to come out a while ago, but they postponed it till uh, this year, uh, produced by Michael Bay's um, Platinum Dunes. Um, I'm always up for any time travel film at all. I don't care what it is, I'm going to watch a time travel film um, so I can kind of critique it, give my own critiques on you know, the time travel films. I'm always up for a time travel film and... This movie, I gave a 5 out of 10. There are many things that this movie does right, and there are many things that this movie does wrong. Really quickly, um, it's good to see time travel through a teen's perspective. Like, um, teen, like what would teenagers, what would people like my age do um, if they had the ability to time travel? And um, they nailed that down pretty right. They'd go back in time, they'd, they'd ace failed tests, or what have you. There's also a music festival scene in the film that is very nice, but at the same time, there's also some really sloppy camera editing and filmmaking because it's found footage. I'm sick of found footage. I hate found footage. What the fuck is the point of found footage? Anyways, added on top of that, there's some really sloppy explanations into the time travel, which I don't expect much, but come on. Give us more than what you gave us. I mean, I understand it's MTV or whatever, but very sloppy explanation in the time travel. All right, that's about it. Those are the two things I'm going to be returning today. I will see you guys in the library. I'm going to get to driving. Okay, guys, I'm at my library now. It's not the biggest library in the world, but it is good for 
you want some quiet study time, and the movie selection is actually decent. Looks like there's nobody here today. One, two, the DVDs. Here. Like I was saying before, there's a lot of relatively new movies, like Jack Ryan, Catching Fire, yeah, hell, they even got Mocking J Part 1. What sucks is that I've mostly seen all, almost all the movies that they have here, like all the action films, like Sky Falls, all the Star Treks, Maze Runner, National Treasure, all that. I do want to catch up on my James Bond, um, my Pierce Brosnan James Bonds, uh, my 90s and 80s James Bond. They got the wind rises. Got to catch up on my uh, Miyazaki. All right, everybody, I was browsing through the selections and I couldn't really find much to choose from that I haven't already seen. So I decided to uh, pick up something that I need to catch up on, on the franchise, and that's James Bond. I gotta die another day. Now, all right, I've heard the, the shebang a million times. This is the worst James Bond film. But I've seen a couple clips from this movie, and from what I've seen, it's just gleefully over-the-top action sequences perfectly embodying the early 2000s. I'm looking forward to this, and that basically concludes my very first library movie run. I may make a couple more of these. Um, of course, I won't actually you know, describe the library like I did today, but I will do a quick uh, video on uh, any future movies that I decide to get. Um, but yeah, d please comment. Tell me how you liked it. If you want to see me do any more runs, unboxings, anything like that, leave your requests in the comments below. I really do appreciate those. Anyways, guys, please like and subscribe, and I will definitely talk to you guys later.